Hi, how is everyone today? It's a little bit uh, late this evening. Um, I decided that I was going to do a video today. I literally have a list of videos that I need to make. And um, I decided I would do this one. Um, I had um, one of my viewers, me, myself, and I, she asked me a question, and it was about, do I believe in Jesus? And I absolutely do believe in Jesus. <laughs> But I have a little story that I need to share with everyone. Well, I want to share it. And um, I don't know what quite to make of it. So let's put that out there first. I still haven't decided how this goes. So here we go. <laughs> um, in 1972, um, I was six years old. And I'm pretty sure it was in 72 or could have been in 73. I'm not exactly sure because I don't quite remember. I was only six or seven years old. Let me start off by that. Um, I lived in Okinawa, which is an island that's underneath Japan. Uh, my father was in the military. His career was in the army. And of course, he retired uh, almost 30 years later. And um we were stationed there, and this is where I'm going to say the event took place. And I'm going to call it an event because it was quite something. <laughs> um, I will tell you this right now. I'm a very logical person, and I really am not religious. I am extremely spiritual, but I'm not religious. Um, I don't follow religious dogmas any of them, but I do know that some things are put in place uh, to help people go to a higher reality. Um, on that note, <laughs> I guess I'll proceed into my event. <laughs> so um, while I was in Okinawa, we used to go play over uh, my friend Tico's house. Uh, Tico was a uh, a boy right around uh, my age or, and my brother's age and my sister's age. Uh, my sister's 11 months younger than I am and my brother's a year and a half older than I am. Well, my mother was holding a dinner party and she wanted us out of her hair. So she did, you know, said what most parents do, go outside and play. <laughs> so we went outside over to Tico's house. Well, these houses were really cool. They were cement houses and they had flat cement roofs on them, I guess because of the hurricanes or what have you that go through there because it's an island and they get hit with really bad hurricanes. So everything's made really sturdy, or at least it was back then on the military base, which it was a military base. So um, this house Tico's house uh, that he was staying in had this really old tree that grew up the side of the tree, uh, the side of the house. And um, this tree was phenomenal because it was it was an awesome thing to climb. It wasn't like uh, trees that we have in America. This thing was like nothing I can describe. It was real branchy that grew on the house itself. And this thing was like Jack and the Beanstalk cool. <laughs> Well, I will say this, um, my sister fell off this tree um, from the roof twice and ended up getting mad stitches in her head. And Tico's mother didn't seem to have a problem with us still climbing that tree on her roof. <laughs> I can't say that um, back then, I don't know what the mentality was, but I guess anything went, oh, if you keep falling off and killing yourself, go for it. <laughs> I don't know what they deemed important back then. It's just crazy. Um, of course, today, if, if my child ever got hurt on something like that, I would be forbidding them to ever go back. <laughs> Stay off that roof. <laughs> but no, we were climbing on that roof again. Um, I do know that we had gone over there after that dinner party had started and uh, at my mother's house, of course. And um, we were on the roof and Tico's mother came out and said, everybody get off the roof. The storm is coming. Go home. And so my brother and my sister and Tico climbed down the tree and I was the last one still on the roof. And um, then I proceeded to climb down and they were already running home. Um, so I climbed down the tree and 
I mean, the weather started just turning like that because these hurricanes come across and bam, they're right there. These storm systems, well, it's an island and the storm systems just run across the island. They're real fast moving, what have you. So when I got down to the bottom of the tree, um, there was like a road in front of his house. And then there was like a, a field. Um, I guess it was a part of a field that went to a house. And then there was another road. It was small. And I started running as fast as I could. And as soon as I started running, something took my legs out from underneath of me. And I just went sliding across that little bit of field. And um, when I was when I stopped, because I slid for a little bit, um, I rolled over because I needed to get up because it started pouring rain. Well, when I rolled over, um, I was facing this guy, obviously, and noticed that instantly there was this bright beam on me. Um, when I looked up, the cloud was pitch black. Um, it had a yellow bright beam around the cloud like sun coming out around it. And inside of the cloud was, um, it looked like it was a picture. Um, you would call it a vision, but it was like a still frame. It did not move. It was like you took a still frame and then you just projected it onto something. That's exactly what it looked like. I mean, I didn't know that then. But looking at the technology we have today and what things are, how things are done, and in that time frame, that's exactly what it looked like. Uh, still frame projected onto the cloud. And it was the weirdest thing because it was like the projection was inside the cloud. It was weird, weird. So I'm looking up, it's pouring rain all around me. I'm not getting wet. <laughs> so I will tell you what I saw. Um, when I saw this at that age, I had no idea what it was. It was just a picture to me. It wasn't until later that I said, oh, that's what that is. I saw a figure of a woman that was in a cloak kind of robe, and it was sideways. So you saw the side of her face. Well, you didn't see her face. Um, you didn't see any faces, hands, any skin of any type. So I could not tell you what these people look like in this clothing. But um, it was like a hood that came out here and it had a bright yellow trim around the hood and then the sleeves, um, it was blue and it was a real beautiful blue. Um, it wasn't real dark blue, it was a real pretty blue. And the gold trim around it was the goldest trim I've ever seen. Um, this woman figure, cause you could see it was a woman the way she was designed. Uh, was holding two babies. Now, I could not see the babies, but the babies were, they looked like babies wrapped in white, um, probably sheets or something. And it even looked like they were sheets. And she was holding them sideways, one above the other. They were the same size also. I will tell you, you could not hold babies like this. There's no way. They, there's, what, are you going to balance it on your arm? No. <laughs> But this is the picture, and it was sideways that I saw with two identical babies and then um, the woman that was in the road. So obviously, my parents weren't really religious, and we didn't do church. And then uh, we eventually started to go to church many years later, and then I realized it was the Virgin Mary that I was seeing, and that was her two babies. So... Um, I'm laying on the ground. It's pouring rain. I'm not getting wet. There's some kind of beam on me. I'm seeing this in the cloud and it's all a bit much. So I get up and I start walking home and I just walked. And when I was walking home, I was not getting wet. And at this point, it was pouring rain outside. And so when I got home eventually, um, when I got home, um, my brother and my sister were stripped. <laughs> they didn't even have any clothes left on except for their underwear. And the first thing my mother says is, where have you been? And I'm like, kind of put back on. And I was like, I was at Tico's house. I just came home. And then she looked really confused. And then she screamed at me again. Where have you been? Because I was completely dry and it made no sense to her. And um, 
I do know that my brother and my sister, they were like, she was right behind us. And my mother couldn't figure it out. She was busy. She had her dinner party. We were wrecking her dinner party by, you know, coming in and soaking wet kids. Well, not me, but then. So basically, I got kind of scolded and um, couldn't get the truth out of me for some reason. That's what the, the impression I got. Why are you lying to me? <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> so very, very odd, very strange. Um, I will tell you this. Um, everyone in my family, I've always talked about this thing that happened to me. And I've always asked everyone, what do you think it means? What does that mean? So when I talk about this story, I have been saying this since I was seven years old, <laughs> six or seven. And I've always said it throughout my life at different periods. My daughters have heard this since they were small um, because I'm always looking for the answer. I do know that sometimes things are blocked from me and I can look and look and look. But if I if I'm blocked, I just can't see it. I have thought about a couple of things that um, it could be. Um, but I will tell you this. Um, I was watching Gregory Hallett and he was talking about the two Jesuses. And the first time I heard that man say that, I thought, oh, is that what that was supposed to be? The two Jesuses? <laughs> I had thought a lot of things over the years, what it could be. I thought it could be the first and the second coming. I did think, well, what if it was two Jesuses? I've never heard of it, but what if that's what it was? And then, of course, Joseph Gregory Hallett was talking about it. And it's like, well, that would coincide with that vision. Um, I don't know. I had been talking to Zanfass and I said, well, I, I don't know how to begin to relay this story because I have reservations about it. OK, this did happen to me. But here's my reservations. Knowing what I know today, I know that things can be holographically done. OK, and I I, I, I would almost say that that was a hologram that I was seeing. Um, I'd be very surprised if it wasn't because it was like a still frame. I do know that uh, there is a such thing as time manipulation where people can really manipulate with the time. And technologies are not what we think they are. They are really much more advanced. Um, I don't know if somebody went into the timeline and did that to me so I would think a certain way. Or I don't know if that was just on a higher dimension and I needed to see that. Um, I have a lot of questions myself. I can't answer it. I have tried. I do think multiple things. I absolutely do know that there was a Jesus. And only because when I can remote view, I do see a Jesus. Um, for some reason, um, sometimes I see two Jesuses. Um, I don't know. They, they kind of look similar. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to tell I don't know most of the time when I see stuff it's energy and these guys had the same energy that's why I think there's two Jesuses because of the energy that they carry I see more energy signals than actual physical faces if that makes any sense to you I don't know so I don't know I would love to hear what anybody thinks that that might be that would be great um, if you have any questions, you can definitely ask me. I'll do the best that I can uh, to answer it. I really would like to have the answer on this, too. There you are. <laughs> um, I was making reservations about I, I did not want to embellish this story. I just want to say it exactly what it is that I saw and what happened. I don't want to say, oh, it's this or it's that because <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> it's the one thing where I can actually say, I really don't know. So I don't want to make this video too long, but there it is. I wanted to put that out. And um, me, myself, and I, I did this. So I would let you know that, yes, I, I absolutely do believe in Jesus. And I believe that there were more than one Jesuses throughout reality because what they are is beings that are awake and they're trying to wake people up around them. So, and I do know that we all need to wake up. <laughs> Time to 
wake up everyone well of course everyone here watching this you're pretty much waking up and awake <laughs> But there you go. All right, then. I guess that'll be my short video for the day. And um, everybody have a great evening. Bye.